it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing a Lush video and today's video is going to be my Lush Christmas 2019 haul and I got quite a few things. I didn't buy everything but I did buy quite a lot of stuff. Like I spent more than £100 which is a lot of money. So the first thing I want to show you that I got is this bubble bar. So it is the Yognog bubble bar. They changed the shape um, to like a bubble rune style. It's got like little butters in and butters on top. And it's shaped like a garlic bulb, which is really weird. Like last year, it looked like a Battenberg cake, which I thought was really cool. Uh, it has the classic Yognog scent, which is um, clove, gardenia, and maple syrup. And it's a beautiful scent, but I think it's overpriced for like how big it is. I would say it's the same size for me as Creamy Candy, and that is the cheapest bubble bar you can get at Lush. It's £3.95, that bubble bar. This is £6.95, and they are the same size. The same size. Obviously you have the butters in there, but I think it's very overpriced for what it is. The next thing that I got was a gift set. I only get gift sets when they come with a knot wrap. And this is the one I got. So it is a, I think it was called Chris Moose. And it actually says somewhere Chris Moose spelt differently. And I got it because I just thought it looked really cool with the moose doing silly things and it's a very colourful knot wrap and I just think it looks so unique. So the things that came inside that gift set were the polar bear plunge bubble bar and I'm pretty sure the scent ingredients were just peppermint. Yeah, peppermint oil. And it is just straight up mint. This is the strongest mint scent Lush have ever done. If you don't like the other mint scents, stay away. But it's a nice mint. And it's very cute as well. And insanely shimmery. Like, crazy amount of glitter. But it, it looks so cute. So I think individually that is like £4.95, roughly. Um, other things that came in that gift set were the Chris Camel bath bomb and this is also £4.95 and it is huge. There are cute little gold stars in here and look how big it is. This is one of the biggest bath bombs I've seen. I mean not like the, look, the super giant bombshells but it's pretty big for £4.95. And it has like a nice Christmassy cinnamon scent. It's really good. So other things, it has gardenia, black pepper, cinnamon, clove and Brazilian orange oil. So it's a very Christmassy scent. The other bath bomb that came in was the Rudolph one and I don't like these ears or antlers. But the scent is good. It's like a cross between butterball but more floral. I just got some on my face, honestly. So messy. It smells really good. I think it's a really nice scent. So the scent ingredients are um, cocoa butter, rose and cassis and also benzoin resinoid. And another thing that came in the gift set was the Butter Bear Soap. So, amazing scent. Family, I really miss the Butter Bear Shower Jelly, which didn't come back this year. And it's not that big of a deal, like it is, but I have three shower jellies in that scent already. So I don't need another one, but I really miss it. Like, really miss it. And I did buy two others. So on top of the one that I got in the gift set, 
I got another two because they were only four pounds and it's pretty big. I think they're really cute and it's in my one of my favourite scents. So that was what I got in the gift set, the Christmas gift set, which I think was no more than £30. I think it was like £28. So I got that. Moving on to other bath bombs, I got the Shoot for the Stars, which is a returning classic, and it's amazing. And it has the Honey I Wash the Kids scent fragrance, and it's so good. Like, this is like the first Christmas bath bomb that I ever tried. It's these gold stars, like they're super glittery. Their bath melts, so they melt in the bath. Absolutely amazing. And it's just a, it's such a nice bath bomb as well. And last year's ones I used, I finished off using them in June or something and they still performed amazing. Like insane. So oh, I just, look at it. It's just so good. It's one of the best ones, I think. And I'm, it makes me happy that it comes back because it's pretty good. And I think it's £4.95. I did get the a bomb bomb, which I've never done before. This is the first bomb bomb experience. Well, second, I did get the Free Ranger at Christmas. So I guess that was the first one. So this is the second one. Um, they kind of slot together like that. It has a very orange scent going on my nose. And there is popping candy in this one as well. I just think it looks cute. The eyes are a bit wonky. But I really love penguins. Like, a lot. So, scent ingredients. Um... This actually just says popping candy, but it definitely smells a bit citrusy to me. And I love penguins so much that I actually bought the penguin not wrap. So this is what it looks like. It's insanely colourful and artsy and just look at it. It's, I think it's amazing. And you've just got the animals on there, little penguins. And I think this knot wrap was £4.95. A lot of things are £4.95. So I got that because I just love the colours and everything in it. Um, other bath bombs that I got, Snowman Dreaming. It's like a powdery scent to me. I'm not a fan of the scent. And the scent ingredients are cedarwood oil. Like, it does have a powdery and I wouldn't really get the cedarwood from this. Like, my first scent was the powder and it's very colourful. So, I'm really looking forward to that and that was £3.95 so it's really cheap and affordable, I think. So, I'm really looking forward to that. And they did actually make a shower jelly in the same shape and it's a different scent. They're not in the same scent family, which is really weird because they have the same shape. So this is the Fireball, it's Cinders scented. And it's a really, I would say this is more of a Halloween thing. But there's almond essential oil, cinnamon leaf oil, popping candy and mustard powder. I think it's a really nice scent. It's just like a little bit of a spicy scent, but not too spicy. It's very good. Okay, so that is everything for bath bombs. I did get some bath oils. I got two, so I didn't get all of them. I got the warm sock. Oh, that's very cinnamony. Yeah, no, it's just... The only scent ingredient is cinnamon. Don't know if I like that. That was £3.95. Oh, the cinnamon is very strong in that. I don't know if I like it at all. And this one is the Igloo. 
also £3.95 and it is the Freeze scent and I actually have the Freeze shower gel and they smell like identical. So good. I can't wait for this and at the bottom you can kind of see it's blue and silver because there's different colours inside so I'm more excited for the igloo than the other one. Moving on, the other soap I got was the Golden Pear and this needs to be a shower gel. Insane colours on my hands. The scent, this is the best form of the Golden Pear scent. The soap is $7.50 and it's worth it in my opinion because it is so good. I might pick up another one. But it looks so good. It just smells amazing. I just, it's amazing. Like, I really, really love it. Okay, I did actually pick up a body scrub. This is the Broth of the Smooth. It's Lord of Mistral scented. Really like it. I think this, the um, price went up. I should have got some before the price went up, but it's a really nice scrub. It, primarily, the scent is amazing. Okay, shower gels. This is the happy one. Um, it was six pound, and the scent is really unusual. Like it's a good scent, and I think it smells like Fanta, but not as artificial. Like it's it's what Fanta would smell like if it wasn't artificial. Like it's very similar to bubbly which came out a few years ago two years two or three years more than two and i have bubbly still so they're not identical but this is basically bubbly but with more orange in that's how it smells and the shimmer is insane so i'm very happy i actually got this so there is a walnut leaf and dandelion root lemon oil, sweet blood, orange oil and the rosy so it's very citrusy and it smells good. Other one that I got is Yognog and it's good. I should have got a bigger bottle, literally filled to the top. And it smells amazing. I think this smells even better than the bubble bar. It's beautiful and shimmery and you can't really see all the glitter it's a real shame but again there's just gardenia maple syrup and clovebud oil and this was seven pounds so I really love the Ognac scent I should have bought a bigger bottle because the color is astounding it's like golden it's just beautiful Okay, moving on, I have the Calyxie Lip Scrub and it smells like a blue slush poppy, like a raspberry scent. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try any. Let's try and wipe my hand a bit. Okay. Yeah, it's like a blue slush puppy. If you like blue slush puppies, you'll like this. I don't know. It's kind of quirky. I really like it. I don't know why it's a Christmas thing, but it's really nice. It's just so weird. Okay, moving on, I have the Rudolph Jelly Face Mask. And the reason I only bought one, even though it's my favourite, is I still have some from last year's. Which sounds really bad because they only are meant to last for four months. <laughs> um, I personally think they last longer than that. I have quite a lot of jelly face masks and they are all okay. And I love the scent, it's just chocolate scent and it's absolutely amazing. So there's um, orange peel infusion. Um, fresh orange juice, cocoa powder and some other things in there as well. You don't get the orange, it's just pure chocolate. Amazing. 
Um, this is kind of a lush labs haul as well, but not so much because I only bought two of the Lush Labs items and that is because I already have some of them but I did get the Tooth Fairy Toothpaste Jelly um, it's no fairy scented so the ingredients are marshmallow root and it doesn't really say anything else in there it just says marshmallow root as the scent ingredient but it smells like snow fairy like dead on snow fairy and the other one that I got was strawberries and clean toothpaste jelly and I I don't like the scent like I do and I don't it's a artificial strawberry scent that's for sure very artificial and it has vanilla in there lime jasmine rosewood and strawberry it, i just can't get over the the scent it's very artificial so i have no idea how these are going to taste so <laughs> i can't wait to use those um the reason why i didn't get the other eight toothpaste jellies is because i already have the purple bananas and the bluetooth one which you would already know if you watch my lush liverpool haul that's what i got the toothpaste jellies and I wasn't interested in any of the mint ones and there were four mint toothpaste jellies and I don't like cinnamon so I no three mint toothpaste ones I didn't like the cinnamon I don't like cinnamon so I didn't get that tornado I don't like licorice so I didn't get Black Sabbath and the last one was megawatt smile and I just wasn't interested in the lemony side and the reason why I didn't want any of the mint ones is because I got the Candy Cane one and it smells exactly like a candy cane like a like a humbug I think they smell the same it smells like a humbug to me it's so good if you don't know what a humbug is it's a classic British sweet and in this one there is peppermint menthol and stevia so it's very minty the menthol is going to be insane. Uh, moving on to the shower jellies. Um, I got the silver bells. I got both of them. I got silver bells, which I do like the scent of, but it's it's not my favourite. Like it's very fresh. It's not liquidy. Yeah, there's black sesame seed milk. Um lime, alibinum and Brazilian orange oil. I don't really get the the lime or the orange. I would say it's more herbal, which must be the alibinum. It's a herbal one. I like the scent, it's very fresh. The other one I don't like the scent. So this is drummer's drumming, shaped like a drum. The scent. Mmm, no. So it's got peach in the grapefruit oil, which I don't get. And then there's three ingredients that I've never seen in any Lush product ever. And those are Divana oil, Alini oil, and Tajet's oil. Oh, it's like a, what is it? It smells familiar, but not from a Lush product, like a, like something in, real life like a a medicine that you really hate I don't know I'm just not a fan I don't know if I'll actually keep it like I might give it away or sell it or pass it on I don't know I hate the scent it's not for me it does not smell like peachy bath bomb it just doesn't I'm not gonna lie to you okay other not wraps that I got I got the oh dear one and it's got a cute little deer in the middle and then a repeating pattern of just some holly berries around the edge it's absolutely adorable so I got those I don't know if I said the prices for the last few items 
um, lip scrub was 650, shower jelly were both six, jelly face masks was eight pounds or 850, and all of the toothpaste jellies are five pounds. Okay, not wrap, the other one that I got. This one is called Gnomes and it has a beautiful, beautiful design. All these cute little gnomes dancing in a circle and it's a beautiful one. I'm so glad I got this. I think all of the knot wraps I got were 4 95 So glad I got those um, samples because I did two, two online orders. I got a lot of samples. So I got the Bohemian Soap and it's kind of gone pink. Smells very citrusy, never tried it. I have the maple soap, very minty, lovely mint scent. I have the red fun, I've tried before. I have the American Cream Naked Shower Gel as a sample. First time I've ever seen it as a sample. Absolutely love the scent though. I have the Honey I Washed the Kids soap. That's my second sample that I actually have. I have the Underpound soap, which I have another sample of, maybe two or three samples. I have the Karma soap, which I hate. I'm just not a Karma fan in general, at all. Like, I used to be and now I'm just not. I have the Blousy shampoo, which I've tried, I hate the scent of and I don't like, it's not for my hair type. The last sample is the Rose Argon Body Conditioner and it's not for me. I've just got some on my nose. Like the scent is not for me. I'm just not a Rose Jam um, fan. I did also get some stuff from an eBay haul, well one thing from an eBay haul and that is the Butterball Shower Gel because if you couldn't already tell, I'm obsessed with the Butterball shower gel and I have it here and it's amazing. It's an amazing scent and it looks beautiful and I cannot wait to love it forever. So I think that was everything in my haul, just checking. Yeah, I think it was. That is my complete Christmas haul. Will I pick more stuff up? Maybe. Probably. I say that now. I probably will. Um, if I don't, this is going to be my last Christmas haul for like, well, Lush haul in general for a while. I mean, it really depends on what they bring out in the Lush labs. But I would like to try the Yummy Mummy um, Santa Bomb Bomb because of the scent. I would like to get another Golden Pear Soap because I have too many of the Butter Bear ones. Um, I might pick up another Chris the Camel actually because it looks cool and maybe another Shoot for the Stars but I'm going to be honest I have a lot of bath bombs at the moment so I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to pick up anything else at all. If I do it will be the golden pear soap and I won't do a haul for that. I'll just pick it up. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.